Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. I hope you guys are doing well and uh, I hope you've had the opportunity to take a sneak peek at the holiday catalog. That's right, our Stampin' Up! 2018 holiday catalog is live and um, there is some amazing projects, ideas, inspiration inside. So um, I'm so excited. It went live September 5th of 2018 and I have heard rave reviews from you guys and how much you're enjoying it and loving it. So I had to go dive in and it was hard to pick a stamp set to start with because they're all pretty fantastic. But today I picked the Spirited Snowman. So the Spirited Snowman, he can be found on page 30, I think it's page 38, yes. All right, so the Spirited Snowman is what we're gonna use today. And so you can see him here. I absolutely love this stamp set. Um, it's very whimsical, but it's just, it's just precious. Um, I think I, I love the little two snowmen here, Love Never Melts, and then of course the Skating Snowman and the Happy Happy one right over here. Um, he is just precious. So anyway, that's the stamp set that we're gonna use today. We're also gonna add in the Buffalo Check. I've seen some really fun cards made with the Buffalo Check too. So that is just um, quite the awesome addition. So good job for stamping up. I just thought this was really, really nice, a nice background. So that's what we're gonna use today. I'm gonna go ahead and set my catalog aside and let me show you our card for today. So here it is. So here is our buffalo check in the background and you can see our spirited snowman. Of course, you can use any one of the snowmen for this card, but I chose this guy. I just thought he was super fun and your friendship warms my heart. So I just thought he was precious. We're gonna use our Stampin' Blends today and I'll show you how I colored him and which colors I used. And uh, I think you'll see it's pretty easy to recreate yourself. It's a lot of fun. All right, so what do we need here? I have Balmy Blue and I have Real Red ink, and then of course our Mementos Black because we're gonna use our alcohol markers today. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold my Balmy Blue cardstock in half, and then I'm gonna use some liquid adhesive and just go ahead and um, just add my center just really quick. All right, and I'd like to add it to the top. I think I've shown you this before. I like to add it to the top and then just flip it over. It just seems a lot easier to me. So then we'll go ahead and flip it around. That's perfect. Now what we're gonna do is on this card, I have one layer. Um, it's the exact same size as the insert and we're just gonna use our liquid adhesive and add it to the top. That'll just make it a little bit easier. We have less pieces floating around, okay? Perfect. Now, if you're new to Brandy's Cards and you'd like the sizes and the dimensions, please don't worry. Um, just visit brandyscards.com and in the navigation bar, you'll see a spot that says blog. You wanna click on blog and then you'll wanna click on videos. And all of the videos that I've done, some from years and years ago, and I just actually went back and had a look and it's like, wow, so um, I've grown, I've come so far. Um, but there's still a lot of fun projects uh, in the past. So um, anyway, if you are interested in my videos, be sure to uh, click the video link and then all of those projects will come up for you to choose from. And um, if you're uh, searching for any one particular video, uh, this one, all you gotta do is go to the search bar and type in Spirited Snowman, that's the name of the stamp set, or Buffalo Check. So just think of the name of the stamp set that I used and you just type that in the search bar and this project will pop up with sizes, dimensions, and a downloadable PDF. So um, while you're out there, I hope that you download it and you hole punch it and put it in your idea and inspiration book, because that's what I like to do when I see those projects out there. All right, so we, uh, we have our base of our card started. That was pretty easy, right? Now what I'm gonna do is bring in my Stamparatus. I love this thing, it is fantastic. And so I have my buffalo check, I have my Stamparatus. What I did is I just cut a piece of my grid paper. Just, you know, just cut it to size. I think it was like seven and a quarter or something. Um, and I just stuck it in here. And it's just a lot easier because as you can see, my buffalo check is quite a bit bigger than the piece of paper I'm gonna use. So I didn't really wanna stamp it on my foam, right? So that's why I'm protecting it. Um, so here's my buffalo check and I just lined it up with the top edge because I wanted to make sure that my checks were straight. 
And then down here, I am just gonna line up my cardstock right here with the line on the grid paper. And let's just make sure that we cover and it looks like we cover it perfectly. Now with the buffalo check, just because we might have to stamp it a couple times, um, I am gonna go ahead and use some old washi tape. This is just a piece of washi tape and what I've noticed is that I, I don't use this one very often. So that's probably the perfect one to use for things like this. So what I'm gonna do is I just want to hold down my corners, really all I'm wanting to do is just kind of hold down that corner. And let's put one right over here too. Great. And I'm just gonna move my, uh, my washi tape just so I can just get just the tip of that corner. All right, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we have balmy blue ink and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna just ink this up really good. So I just wanna apply my ink. I like to just kind of push it, have it already mounted and then just take and you know, kind of work my way around. You just want, one thing you wanna be careful is you know, you've got the edge of the foam on the stamp pad and sometimes it'll leave little lines inside, you know, on your little checks and stuff. So just be mindful of that and always remember when you have your stamp apparatus, it's a precision tool. So once you stamp it, you can actually re-stamp on top of it. So that is the beauty of one of the benefits of the stamp apparatus, of course. So I love that. So once I feel like I've got it good and inked up and all the ink is doing good, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and close my stamp apparatus. Now here, what I find is you wanna give it good even pressure and you wanna kinda of work your way all the way across and just kinda of rub it a little bit, you know, massage it, make sure we get all of that ink to transfer to our Whisper White cardstock. And so when you feel that you've done that, we'll go ahead and we'll open it back up. I'm gonna stick my ink back up here because I will absolutely stick my sleeve in it. Um, I have done that on many occasions. So uh, we just got that moved. All right, so now here on this particular um, card, I missed the center, so I might not have rubbed as well. So, you know, what you can do is you can re-ink it back up, and even if you don't miss the center, um, you know, you can just, you know, re-ink it, and just ink it really, really good, and then what you're gonna do is set your ink down, there we go, and then just kinda come back on top, and again, push it really hard, and just make sure that everything gets kind of pushed down and all that, all that ink gets transferred to that cardstock. And there we go, it looks great. So that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece off and I have my Buffalo check, which I absolutely love. And, and one other thing, if you have your Simply Chamois, you know what I do is I just kinda go and take it off and I, I keep it damp, but I let it dry out in between my crafting sessions. Um, and then of course, if it gets really inky, I just use a little bit of dish soap and um, just clean it off. But anyway, it is wet, it's kind of um, damp. And as you can see, it cleans your stamps beautifully. So I love that about my Simply Chamois. So I'm gonna just set this aside, my Stamparatus. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna ink up well, before I do that, let's just go ahead and add our buffalo check since we have it ready to go. So I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid adhesive here behind my buffalo check. And then what I'm gonna do is just offset it on top of my card, just a little bit. And see, there you go, just a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom, perfect. I just thought that was really kind of fun, you know. A lot of times with these straight lines, I like to kind of keep things in a rectangle or a, rectangle or a square and keep it perfectly centered. Um, but there's, you know, there's something to be said for kind of offsetting it a little bit and kind of creating more of um, an artistic type of look. So that's what we're doing here. Now let's go over to our snowman and I'm gonna ink him up in Mementos Black. Just kind of tap in really lightly. We don't need a tremendous amount of ink on him. We just need a good solid image. So what I'm gonna do now is just stamp him straight down 
and straight up, and that's perfect. He is adorable. So while we're stamping, let's just keep on trucking, okay? So we've got our ivy here, or holly, I suppose you should say. Good holly. And I inked it up, I'm gonna ink it up in the Mementos Black, and stamp it right here on my um, scrap piece of cardstock. And so we're all done with the mementos. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that guy away too. Now I have your friendship warms my heart. That's the sentiment that I chose today. And I have a strip. Now I keep all these strips um, of scrap paper really. And um, whenever I have something where I wanna use a tag, I just kinda of pull up those strips and play with them. Um, I also, instead of stamping the sentiment straight onto where my image is, in case I don't like it, those strips are very, very handy to just stamp the sentiment and then lay it on top of your image and go, yeah, maybe, maybe not, and that sort of thing. So it's pretty nice. Now, as you can see here in the card, I, I, I created a banner, but I do have the holly on there, so I do need to leave a bit of a space for both the holly and the, um, and the uh, decorative bow that we're gonna put on there. So we just stamped it, it looks great. Um, I'm pleased with that. So we're gonna go ahead and set those aside and we're gonna move on to coloring our image, okay? Now here we go, we've got some fun Stampin' Blends here. I've got a few. I absolutely love these alcohol markers and um, the more you get working with them, the more fun they can be. And so you just have to kind of start playing with them and you know, try to think, um, you know, try not to worry too much about getting out of the lines or and how to blend them. Just you gotta play with them and get a feel for them and then it sorta all does come together. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you our real red. We're gonna do the real red on the hat. I think it's my most favorite part of the snowman to color, quite honestly. And I'll show you why. Um, I kind of wanted his hat to look maybe a little worn if you will. Um, so what I did is I have the light real red um, stamp and blend and I'm just gonna really you know carefully just sort of lightly color over his hat in these three different sections. Do you see that? I've got three sections of his hat that I'm gonna color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the dark real red. Now I personally like the pointed tips um, on the Stampin' Blends, but you can use either tip that you'd like, okay? It's personal preference here. So now what I'm gonna do is I want to add some depth and I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark here, um, sort of randomly, um, I kind of looking at the dark lines in the stamp and trying to kind of add a bit of shadows and that sort of thing. So you can already see there's a little, it's coming together as far as just a little bit of, of you know, depth and interest there. I'm gonna just blend this portion here in the middle just a wee bit, and that's perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our um, color lifter. Now why the color lifter? Well, as you can see in the picture here, I kind of wanted it to look a little worn on his hat. And how I did that was I took the color lifter and I just sort of kind of came in here and just sort of rubbed a little bit. And do you see how that just got a bit lighter? I just think that is super cool. And that is just a way to kind of lift the color back up and add a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of interest on his hat. Now you can do that with any of our colors. If you make a mistake and you get outside of the lines or something like that, don't forget you've got that handy dandy color lifter that can always kind of save the day. So I always keep that by my side. So now let's keep on going with his hats. I have our new Call Me, um, Call Me Clover uh, Stampin' Blends. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. And um, these blends are just awesome. Love them. So I'm gonna start out with the um, Call Me Clover, which is the light one, okay? And um, here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color right on this strip on his hat and also up here at the top. So that just kind of gives it some color. And then let's start with his scarf. And on his scarf, I just went all the way up and just every other one I would color with my Call Me Clover light shade. And just very, you know, very carefully, um, just, you know, coloring his scarf. 
And here I've got one more to do, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the dark calmy clover. And when you add the dark calmy clover, it really starts to kind of come alive. See that? And it really adds, you know, it just makes it super fun. So I'm just gonna work my way up. In this situation, I'm actually not blending on his scarf at all. I'm just using the two different colors, which, you know, are supposed to work together anyway, um, as the uh, light and dark on his scarf, the two different uh, Call Me Clover greens. So I just thought it was a really nice way to kind of, you know, make his scarf uh, interesting. Now, how about our blue? So you're probably wondering, well, where did you put blue on him? Well, I'm gonna show you. I actually put blue on his hat, believe it or not. He's got these, uh, these little balls on the end of his hat that I think are super cute. So we're gonna put that right there on his hat. That's kind of fun, right? I think so. All right, so now his hat is all done. And let's go in and color his nose. His nose gets uh, the dark, um, I was gonna say dark paper pumpkin, but that's not right. It's the dark pumpkin pie um, Stampin' Blend. So we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of color his nose. I didn't really feel the need to use two different markers on this, but you certainly could if you wanted to. And then I have his arms, and on his arms I'm doing the light soft suede. And so this is a light soft suede marker, stamp and blend, and, and on this one, you know, his arms are kind of skinny anyway, so I didn't really feel that this needed much blending either. So I'm just kind of coloring his arms bringing him to life is what I'm doing. And then adding a little bit down here in his little legs. I'm thinking I may have forgotten his legs on, on this card. Yeah, maybe. Oh well, what are you gonna do? See, that's the beauty of crafting is nobody knows anyway, right? Um, nobody knows what it's supposed to look like. It's your creation. So always remember that when you're crafting and just have fun with it. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, so here we go, we have a light smoky slate marker. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just color the buttons on his, okay, on his snowball, snowman. <laughs> He's a snowman, so I guess, you know, down the front of him, there you go. Let's just color those buttons down the front of him. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a bit of the smoky slate down here on his skates. And now watch this. I don't really want to color his skates, you know, completely gray. I, what I wanna do is take my color lifter and I'm gonna use my color lifter to actually bleed the color on his skate. So then it's kind of um, sort of a dirty gray, if you will, or, you know, sort of a light gray. Like he's been really skating a lot and his, his boots are a little bit worn is kind of what I'm looking for there. So th I think that turned out great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and add our, our soft suede to the bottom of his skates. And just kind of, again, working our way around, bringing this guy to life. Perfect. All right, so the very last thing that I wanna do is, you know, he looks awesome as he is right like this. I think he looks fantastic. And you can do a couple different things. You could take a liquid, like the two-way uh, two glue pen, and you could color him in, and you could add some Dazzling Diamonds glitter, and he would just sparkle beautifully. Um, you could use um, the Wink Estella pen, right? And you could add some nice shimmer to him. And so that would be another great way to uh, just kind of bring him to life a little bit more. But what if you don't have those things, and you're maybe looking for maybe another way to do it? Well, what I suggest is taking a light pool party or a very light blue if you have one. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of color, add some color right along the bottom here of him where I think there might be some shadows. And I'm gonna add it right around his head, just up in here. And then what I'm gonna do is grab my color lifter again. That's right, we're gonna use our color lifter to do the blending and I'm just gonna sort of fade out the line is what I'm trying to do. I don't wanna get rid of the color necessarily, but I wanna fade out the line just a wee bit so you get a hint of, you know, you get a hint of him being alive, if you will. It really just sort of 
you know, brings him to life and adds a little shadow to his body and, and makes him, puts him in motion, if you will. And, you know, if you, you want to add more, you certainly can. Just kind of go up in here and you can add, you know, add more. You know, what I always try to think and, you know, is that start you know start just doing a wee bit just pick a couple of places you can certainly always add more but you can't really take it away um, the color lifter does a pretty darn good job but you know if you just kind of add slowly um, you can kind of figure out what you like all right so let's go ahead and glue him down to our real red piece now before i do you can see here that um, on the back your stampin blends are absolutely supposed to bleed through the cardstock and as you blend them they will bleed more so don't be alarmed when you see that that is totally okay that's what it's supposed to look like we're just going to center this on a piece of real red cardstock we're just going to mat him is really what we're doing and then we're going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals behind our real red cardstock. And, um, and then we're going to add it to our card base, to our buffalo check. Now one thing that you, while I'm doing this, you should think about is that if you want your buffalo check to be darker, you could certainly, um, you know, use your Stamparatus and, and add ink a couple of different times. So that's going to just continuously make it darker. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're using your Stamparatus. So here we go, I am adding my spirited snowman to the front of my card. And he just looks adorable. He is, he's just really coming to life, so I'm pretty excited about that. Now let's move over and finish our holly. For our holly, what I did is I just used my Dark Real Red Stampin' Blend and I colored the, uh, the little berries red. Now, if you wanted to, you could certainly go back in with your color lifter and kind of, you know, just add a little bit of, you know, lighten them up a little bit in areas and kind of make them look interesting. I'm going to add a little bit of light Call Me Clover to my leaves here. And then I'm going to take the dark Call Me Clover and just, you know, add a little bit of color here. There's not... You know, I'm not really picking anything in particular. I just want to add some dark in here. And then with my light Call Me Clover, I'm just going to blend it a wee bit. Just to kind of give it a little bit more depth is all I'm trying to do. And um, I think that looks very, very nice. I'm pleased with that. You know, the idea is you just want to kind of blend those harsh lines. With your um, Stampin' Write markers, they're fantastic for so many different things and for coloring on your stamps and so forth. But the nice thing about the Stampin' Blends is the fact that you can actually blend those lines and those colors. So um, that is one of the really nice things about those. So I'm gonna hand cut out the holly. Um, and it doesn't take much, you know, and don't worry about getting too close to the lines. Um, you're actually going to mount it on top of white anyway, so it's rather forgiving. So don't worry about that. And we've got that cut out. Now what I'm going to do is come over to my, uh, my banner and I'm going to just go ahead and, and make a little bit of a, a banner on my own. Now one thing just to keep in mind is I'm not really measuring it out. I'm just kind of eyeing what I like. And I can see that this, is, this edge is flush and this is where my sentiment is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snip right about here and I'm gonna create my own banner. By doing that, I'm just cutting down the center and then just cutting on each edge, making the kind of the little triangle points and uh, that creates my banner. It's pretty simple really. Um, and it kind of frees you up to not have to have everything so um, perfectly cut, if you will. You know, you can kind of, um, you know, play with it a little bit. And I'm going to add a Stampin' Dimensional here on the end, and then one over here, and then one not in the middle, but kind of. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my twine. This is just uh, Baker's White Baker's Twine. I have to say it's one of my most favorite things to use on my cards. Um, it's just really easy to work with, not to mention it just makes really uh, cute bows. I like how the bows are just, are just um, easy to, to make and pretty. So what I'm going to do is I've got my Stampin' Dimensionals underneath here. I'm going to add my banner just like that. And I'm going to just tie my bow right here on the bottom. And, uh, you know, nothing too fancy. 
They're pretty easy to work with. You want to make sure you have enough string though that it's easy to kind of tie yourself a little bit of a bow, but it's not too bad. And of course, you can always take a mini glue dot and put it under your bow so he sticks perfectly down where you'd like. I like to do that, honestly. Once I have the size of my bow and I have it where I like it, um, I do like to just add a mini glue dot and then I know he's not going to move around. So I'm um, just going to take my my scissors here and go right underneath him, under my little bow, if you will, and then you just stick your bow in it and just squish it down where you like. And then it stays there, so that's a nice thing. I love that. Okay, so now we've got to give our bow a haircut. Always got to trim that guy a little bit because they get a little unruly on you if you don't. And then once you do that, um, we should be good there. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add our holly and I'm going to stick a Stampin' Dimensional right behind my holly that I just colored and add it right next to my bow as though it kind of all goes together. Well there you go. This is my spirited snowman. I hope you guys liked him. Um, he is, this stamp set is just so much fun. It's, it's so whimsical and if you are a snowman kind of person, which I love snowmen, um, anytime the craft stores and the, um, the fall decorations and winter decorations come out with snowmen, I, uh, I love them um, on my mantle and for decorations. So anyway, I just thought he was precious and he uh, just makes an adorable Christmas card or holiday card. Now I do have a couple other cards to show you. Um, this next card is also from that stamp set and he is like happy and jumping for joy. He's like the, uh, you know, the super spirited snowman going, yay, Christmas is here. Um, you'll notice I put winter cheer on this guy. This is Call Me Clover. Uh, yes, this is the uh, Call Me Clover uh, cardstock and then um, the Call Me Clover ink. I used the, um, oh, it was the blizzard. It was the blizzard. Um, oh, I have to look now because I need the name of that. Um, the blizzard. Oh, I'll tell you exactly what it's called here momentarily. Let me look through here. Oh my goodness, you guys see all this wonderful stuff in here. It is so hard to pick what to use first and what my holiday cards are gonna look like. I'm sure y'all are going through the same thing. It's like, oh, what am I gonna do? I tell ya. But that is what I love about crafting is because you can just, you know, there's just so many ideas and there's so much inspiration. Um, all around you. Speaking of that, I'm just going to point out this while I'm in here on page 33. This Timeless Tidings Project Kit is just absolutely stunning. Um, I, will, I will absolutely uh, be doing a demonstration on this kit. It is just beautiful. I did my pre-order for Stampin' Up! and I ordered this kit and I put it together and some of my customers have received it um, as a thank you note. And I hope that you, uh, you enjoy it. It is just such, that just makes such beautiful cards. I was only able to make 20 out of that kit. So I've ordered more and I can't wait to put those together and then of course show them to you as well. Um, they're just a great alternative. If you're not really comfortable yet making cards, it's a really nice alternative. Um, to just dive in there and, and uh, give it a try. Everything that you need is in there. Um, so it's fantastic. All right, so this is what I was trying to show you. It's the Blizzard Thin Lit Dies. Die, I should say. It's one big die and it just makes the most fantastic snowflakes. And so here's one of them right here. Actually, there's two. And so it's called the Blizzard Die and I ran it through twice, once with Whisper White cardstock and once with Call Me Clover. And I saved all of the little pieces because I didn't know what I was going to use, but I knew that I would use the others uh, some other time. The snowflakes actually came here from the Spirited Snowman stamp set, so that's where those came from. Now, if you're part of my stamp club, I'm going to be uh, sharing the tutorials uh, for these cards as well. And uh, this one I just loved. Um, Your friendship warms my heart. All three of the snowmen and the stamp set are on here. I made myself a few little um, snow hills to kind of give it some, just to make it that much more fun. Um, some snow hills and I colored our snowman. I added our uh, blizzard thin lit snowflakes on here. And then we've got some, and you know, some of the little embellishments. 
Anyway, I just thought that was super fun. And then lastly, this one is also for Stamp Club and uh, I will share all of the directions for this um, in a PDF tutorial and a post for you. Um, Love Never Melts. I just thought this was precious. Um, these two little snowmen are just lovely and uh, just a fun, fun card um, for you. So anyway, this was uh, this is the Spirited Snowman, and um, if you're new to Brandy's Cards, of course the sizes and the dimensions will all be on brandyscards.com. And if you're a part of Stamp Club, keep your eyes open uh, and you know watch out for these PDF tutorials because they're going to be coming your way shortly. And if you're interested in my Stamp Club, just uh, visit brandyscards.com and in the navigation bar, click on Stamp Club. You can see uh, you can read all about it there. And of course, let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. I sure do appreciate you stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed my project today um, and uh, that you're getting excited for the holidays. I know that I am and I can't hardly wait to get decorating and all of that fun stuff. So thank you so much for your business and for your time and um, I hope that you have a blessed day. Bye everybody.